Hey everyone, welcome to East Linfield, a lovely treed suburb on Sydney's Upper North Shore. Today I thought we'd explore Two Creeks Track. It's apparently a pretty popular walk, but I've never actually done it before, so I'm really excited. It starts here in East Linfield, beginning at the corner of Slade Avenue and Tryon Road. Alternatively, it's also accessible from the corner of Tryon Road and Eastern Arturo Road near Linfield Oval. And, if you're walking from Linfield Station, as I am, there are these handy little markers letting you know you're going in the right direction. Oh good, those red lights are loud. But this should be the start of the track. slowly getting quieter as we get further into the trees. Is this the right way? I really hope we're not trespassing right now. Wait. Aha! This should be it. Oh, how beautiful. I think we're in for a real treat today. So Two Creeks Track is home to an amazing variety of flora and fauna, and it's managed by both Karinga Council and Garigal National Park. There's a range of vegetation from moist gullies to the creek down below to the right here and to the sandstone bush that's common all throughout Sydney. And as you can already hear, a number of birds are hidden in the trees above us. It's funny, even though it's a lovely sunny day out, a lovely sunny winter day, it's getting noticeably cooler and cooler as we go further down. Okay, stone steps, magnificent scenery, there's a creek down below, except I don't think you can see it from here. And then, a stone pillar. What? So what we're looking at here is a pillar that was built as a part of the government relief work during the Great Depression. And it appears to be a reinforcing the sandstone overhang here. So just backtracking a little bit, this whole area is actually culturally quite significant. The lives of the local Aboriginal people were based around these waterways and bushland for thousands of years, long before any formal walking tracks and stone steps were constructed. In 1917, during World War I, an engineer's officer training school was established and they built temporary bridges, walls and trenches. These were later expanded upon um, in the late 1920s when also the sewer around here was built. And then in the Great Depression, as relief work, when development on the Eastern Arturo Road began. So these stone pillars, sandstone steps, and Aboriginal sites and relics further along the track are all testament to the lives and efforts of people in this area over many, many years. Pretty cool, yeah? Alright, continuing on. So, as I said, it's winter at the moment, but this would probably be a good bushwalk on a hot summer's day, as the path is mostly shaded. Last week's walk, Blackland Park, is only a few suburbs away, maybe a 15-20 minute drive, still within the North Shore region of Sydney. But here, with the denser canopy, everything is a lot damper and mossier. I saw this on my way down to the creek. I have no idea what it is, but there are quite a few dotted around. I can only guess it might be a ground vent or cover for the drains or sewage pipes buried underground.
So we've diverted a little off the track here and are walking along Gordon Creek itself, the first of the two main creeks on the aptly named Two Creeks track. The second one will be Moores Creek in the latter half of the walk. Wandering around here you can see many beautiful examples of Australian plants. Some of the ones I recognise include grass trees, you've got birds nest ferns of varying sizes, tree ferns and Sydney red gums. Just look at the size of that one. That's my little backpack at the base of it for reference. This creek is lovely, but I think it's time to head back up to the proper track. Alright, quietly now. I've just spotted a bush turkey up ahead. Let's see if we can get close. So that was an Australian brush turkey. They're found throughout Eastern Australia, typically inhabiting rainforest or wet sclerophyll forest, although they can also be found in drier scrub. Nowadays they're a common sight in residential parts of Sydney and Brisbane, usually messing up your garden, <laughs> raking up the ground, looking for food, and urban bush turkeys do not frighten easily. In nesting season, the males build large mounds of leaves and mulch to attract females to lay there. Then, by regularly inserting his beak, he checks the mound to ensure it remains at the right temperature of 33 to 38 degrees to incubate the eggs inside, adding and removing plant matter if need be. But heaven help you if you disturb them. They're known as bush turkeys, guila, brush turkeys, scrub turkeys, or that terrifying creature that traumatised you, your friend, or a relative in childhood. So the path continues straight ahead, but it looks like there might be some place to the left for me to sit down and have some morning tea, because I'm hungry. Well this sucks. Looks like some bloody assholes had a party and trashed the place. Oh, and lit a fire. Ugh. Look, every national park has different rules about lighting campfires or walking pets and whatnot. Seriously, don't get drunk and just leave your rubbish everywhere. Well, there's dozens of beer bottles just tossed into the bush, cigarette butts and bottle caps just littering the ground, and plastic bags and drug paraphernalia strewn about. So I've cleaned it up the best I could in these plastic bags here. When you're bushwalking or just in everyday life, please remember to be respectful and clean up after yourself. Don't be an asshole. So it looks like we're meant to go right and follow the path here, or we can take the side path. Adventure! Woo! There's another one of these things again. Wait, is this a dead end? We probably should have gone the other way. 
Oh, hang on. Is this the stormwater pipe? Yeah, I think the storm, it's the stormwater pipeline. It goes under Eastern Artura Road. I think you can walk through it. Oh, hell no. Okay, let's do this. Oh boy, this is terrifying. And echoey. Hello! A part of me is just waiting for like a huge wave of water to appear and just flush me out. <laughs> this is so ominous. <laughs> Daylight's great, isn't it? This is a slightly narrow walkway. might turn this off because this is all very mossy. Hmm. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, I've safely crossed this deadly dangerous creek and I think we can continue onwards. Oh no, this is spider web. Help. Aha. All right, onwards. I found another spider web. Look at this tiny spider, tiny, tiny spider. Can you go around slightly? There we are. Spider web's okay. Continuing on. And there's another tiny spider web. Hmm. Had to cross back over the river as the uh, track ran out once again. I'm not even sure we're on along an official track at all. It's going to be entertaining to see where we end up. Oh no. Bushwalking is not always straightforward and easy. I'm gonna need both hands here. All right, and back to it. So I just had a quick chat with a lady who passed by while the camera was off. She's also exploring the bushwalking trails around here. And we both came to the conclusion that we've mo we're most likely not on an official track, but we're still having fun. Hopefully we do end up somewhere soon though. My camera battery isn't going to last much longer. So after all of that, I had to climb up here, three meters uphill through 
very dense bush, but I finally found what looks like a track. So I don't know if this is the official Two Creeks track or if it's um, the fire trail, but I think we've been bushwalking long enough. It's time to bring today's adventure to a close. I'm starting to hear traffic. We should be reaching one of the ends of this track. So looking it up on a map quickly just now, we definitely went off course. I think after the pipeline, in the future, it'd definitely be a good idea to bring a map with us, or at least check a guidebook beforehand. But either way, it's still been a really fun walk. And here's an end to our walk, exiting onto Archibald Road, I believe. This is also the start of the Two Creeks walk track if you start from Linfield Oval. Thanks so much for coming on a walk with me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Have a good one.